Hello everyone, and we're going to do a demonstration of how to remove nails from any molding. Now, first of all, we took this molding off of the pre-hung doors. You know how sometimes the brick molding is on these pre-hungs? And that's uh, some, uh, something to keep in mind. That these are pre-hung. There's no reason to really fuss when you hang them. Uh, we'll go over that in a video in the future as well. But we removed it simply because of, you know, it was easier to install and it didn't get in the way of anything. And then we put them back on after the door is installed. And so you're stuck with these nails. These are like pneumatically installed nails from the factory. They're about, you know, 10 penny or eight penny. But what we do is instead of taking a hammer, like most people would, you know, you would think of doing, you grab this hammer over here. Looks like your hammer, Mary. It is. But most people would, you know, pound it through. And what happens is that this nail happens to be already through from the factory. It wasn't sunk all the way. But what happens is it blows out the face. And then it, if it happens to be puttied or something, then that comes out as well. Uh, but this is being almost, a, well, it's actually an inch thick. So what we do, no matter how thick the casing is, and it's more difficult when it's thicker, is pull it through from the back. You know, you could even take a, a bigger pair of channel locks, but these small ones work fine. And you grab tight and you bend and you break it free. And then just do a little at a time like that, see? And then sometimes it takes three attempts and then you take it out. And then there's no damage on the face of the wood whatsoever. There's a little bit in the back, but who cares? Uh, and then we always dispose of the nail, you know, so I'm not gonna go through every one of these, but you know, that's that's the way, even this one that's punched through, it's a lot easier to, to do this than it is to bang it through and try to pry it through. So sometimes the prying action would even damage the face of the wood. So you gotta be, you know, just do everything from behind. And then again, this is tougher because it's an inch thick, but if this was like a regular indoor casing, it would come right out in one try. But this one's, this one's really giving me fits, but we can still get it. You just grab at it, one grab at a time. So that's how we do it. We clear out, you know, even these ones here. Uh, you, you don't want to pry against the face of the wood at all, or this part at all. So you just pry on the back part or, you know, where it's hidden within the miter. And you just do a little bit at a time, even if it's easy, because you don't want to damage anything. And there you go. You got yourself a nice, clean uh, board ready to reinstall. Of course, we got to remove these three nails first, but I'm not going to bore you with that. But that's how you remove a nail from a, a, a you know, if you want to reuse a piece of trim that you removed for some reason or another. Because some of them, they're always going to have the nails still stuck in them or in the part you removed it from. But that's the best way to remove them I've found over the years. So thank you for watching.